Welcome to RAF's area of refuge, How It Works Animation. Our Foley Code compliant system consists of base stations, call boxes, battery backup power supplies, and signage. In this video, we will review code requirements, describe the system components in detail, and demonstrate a call. Areas of refuge and elevator landing two-way communication requirements are found in the IBC. The IBC 2009 to current code version and NFPA 72 Chapter 24 require a two-way communication system in all new construction in elevator landings or areas of refuge, regardless if there's a sprinkler system in the building or not. A two-way communication system shall be provided at the landing serving each elevator or bank of elevators on each accessible floor that is one or more stories above or below the level of exit discharge or in the stairwell area of refuge. Significant remodels or change of use of a building may also require these two-way communication systems. There are two separate locations where a two-way communication system can be located, in an elevator landing or in an area of refuge. Most buildings will require the two-way communication in the elevator landings if the building has a 24-hour sprinkler system installed. The entire floor is considered an area of refuge if the building has a sprinkler system. If the two-way communication is in the area of refuge, there are additional requirements. The area must be a minimum of 30 by 48 inches to accommodate a wheelchair. Additionally, if a person has to travel 200 feet or more to the area of refuge, additional locations are required. This will allow for the building occupants and emergency services to flow freely throughout the building while the people in the areas of refuge are waiting for assistance. A two-way communication system consists of three components and must include battery backup power. A base station is a central control point where the call boxes will call for emergency assistance. In a low-rise setting, the base station is usually located in the lobby or entryway. In a high-rise setting, the base station is usually located in a fire command center. The authority having jurisdiction, or AHJ, will ultimately determine the location of the base station. It should be mounted at 60 inches from the floor to the center of the station. Call boxes are hands-free two-way emergency communication devices located on each floor above and below the story of exit discharge. The call boxes will be installed in the stairwell or elevator landings. The call boxes should be mounted 48 inches from the floor to the button. Three signs are required at each location. The signage will read Area of Refuge or Emergency Communication, depending on the location of the system. These include the instruction sign, the raised letter and braille tactile sign, and the illuminated sign. The instruction sign will be placed next to each call box. It should be mounted between 48 and 60 inches from the floor to the tactile characters. Raised letter and braille tactile signage will be mounted in the hallway, leading into the area at 60 inches from the floor to the center of the sign. Illuminated signage will be placed above the tactile signage between 60 and 80 inches from the floor to the sign center. An optional directional sign is also available. Let's demonstrate a live call. Sarah presses the button on the call box during an emergency. A solid red light will illuminate, indicating that a call has been placed. She will hear a dial tone and the location message. In a low-rise setting, the call first rings at the base station in the main lobby. In a high-rise setting, the call first rings at the base station in the fire command center. The call will roll over to a remote monitoring location or 911. The operator may then send emergency services to the location to assist the building occupants during the emergency. In this scenario, the call has been transferred to a monitoring company. Hello, Elite Monitoring. The pre-recorded location message is voice activated and will play twice. Highland Hotel, Building A, Third Floor. Highland Hotel, Building A, Third Floor. Once both parties have heard the location message, two-way communication is established. What's your emergency? I'm stranded on the third floor of Building A. We will send help right away. Okay, thank you. And the red light on the call box will begin to blink. Once the monitoring company or 911 has been notified of the situation, they will stay on the line until rescue personnel arrives on site. When rescue personnel arrive, they will go to the base station, find the lit location, and join the conversation. 
This is Captain Clark with the fire department. We're on site. I'm going to disconnect the monitoring company at this time. The call between emergency services and the distressed party will continue. Rescue personnel will then begin their emergency evacuation procedures. We hope you now have a better understanding of RAF's two-way emergency communication systems components and operations. Our dependable, high-quality, made-in-the-USA products are truly protecting what matters.